Every second a forest disappears, fires, chainsaws, expansion. What once was green becomes gray. But high above the barren land, something remarkable is taking flight. Not birds, not planes, but machines with seeds. In an era where nature is vanishing faster than we can comprehend, a new army is rising. Silent, efficient, and relentless. Drones. But they are not instruments of war. They are instruments of life. The Earth loses over 10 billion trees every year. That's over 27 million trees gone every single day. Forests that once sheltered life are now bare. With every tree lost, we lose oxygen, biodiversity, climate balance, and time. But in a quiet lab, on the edge of a changing world, someone asked a different question. What if we could replant forests at the speed they are being destroyed? And the answer was to take the skies. This is the story of how drones, yes, flying robots, are being used to replant the planet one seed at a time. It starts with technology, but not the kind you'd expect. These aren't military drones or toys. These are highly specialized machines designed for one mission, to fly over vast, degraded land and deliver life. Thousands of seeds per flight, millions per month. Companies like Biocarbon Engineering in the UK and Flash Forest in Canada have pioneered this approach. Their drones don't just drop seeds randomly. They use satellite imagery and AI to map the terrain, identify where seeds are most likely to survive, and plant them with pinpoint accuracy. Each drone can plant up to 100,000 seed pods in a single day. To put that in perspective, a team of human planters on foot would take weeks to cover the same ground. These seed pods aren't ordinary either. They're tiny capsules, pre-packed with nutrients and natural soil enhancers to give each tree the best chance at life. In Ethiopia, drone-assisted reforestation projects have supported the country's bold initiative to plant over 4 billion trees. In Canada, forests destroyed by wildfires are being replanted using fleets of drones that can reach areas inaccessible by humans. And in Australia, drones are helping restore mangrove forests and re-establish biodiversity in salt-damaged soil. But this isn't just about planting trees. It's about healing ecosystems. It's about giving animals their homes back. It's about cooling the planet, cleaning the air, and bringing rain back to regions plagued by drought. The speed and scale are game-changing. A traditional tree-planting effort might reforest a few thousand acres in a year. But with drones, millions of trees can be planted every month, and with far lower cost and human effort. Of course, planting is only the beginning. A tree is not a number, it's a living being. And planting a seed doesn't guarantee a forest. That's why these drone programs don't just scatter seeds and leave. They monitor, they adapt, they evolve. Using aerial imagery and real-time data, teams can track which zones are thriving and which need intervention. Some drones even return to the same areas, deploying additional nutrients or water, or adjusting seed mixtures based on what survived. Still, there are challenges. In some places, wildlife may consume the seed pods. In others, droughts make survival harder, no matter how advanced the technology. And in many regions, political instability and deforestation laws stand in the way of progress. But for every obstacle, innovation is rising. Some companies now pair drones with ground-based robots that dig and water soil. Others are developing biodegradable pods that mimic natural germination cycles, improving survival rates by over 80%. Behind all this technology, though, are people, scientists, conservationists, indigenous leaders, and even schoolchildren united by a common purpose, to bring forests back. In Indonesia, Community drone programs are teaching locals how to fly and plant in their own lands. In Kenya, women-led cooperatives are monitoring drone-planted acacia trees that now anchor soil and bring pollinators back. In Iceland, 
Drone reforestation is being used to fight erosion and revive ancient landscapes once lost to Viking deforestation. This is more than a technical revolution. It's a cultural one, a shift in how we see restoration, not as a slow, reactive process, but as a bold, proactive mission powered by knowledge, collaboration and courage. So where do we go from here? Some experts believe that with enough investment and coordination, over one trillion trees could be planted by 2030, helping absorb billions of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. Governments are beginning to notice. The United Nations supports drone reforestation in multiple climate action projects, and dozens of countries have now pledged to include drone technology in their afforestation strategies. Imagine that. A world where forests are restored faster than they are destroyed. Where deserts bloom again. Where rivers flow because roots hold water in the land. Where orangutans and wolves and jaguars return to places they once called home. All of this because someone believed that flight could bring back life. We used to think only destruction came from above. Now, Hope flies with wings of innovation. So the next time you see a drone in the sky, ask yourself, is it watching? Or is it planting a better future? And if this story inspired you, don't keep it to yourself, share it. Because when more people believe in solutions, more forests can rise from the dust. Subscribe for more stories that show how humanity is fighting back, not with weapons, but with wisdom because the planet doesn't need saving, it needs replanting. But let's take a step back for a moment. Why trees? Why is this mission so important? Because trees are not just plants, they are life support systems. A single mature tree can absorb up to 48 pounds of carbon dioxide per year. That may sound small, but multiply it by 3 billion. And we're talking about a carbon sink large enough to shift the global equation. Trees cool the planet through evapotranspiration. They anchor soil, preventing landslides and desertification. They bring rain. So the next time someone tells you the planet is dying, tell them about the drones. Tell them about the billions of seeds falling from the sky. Tell them we've already started rebuilding. One tree, one flight, one miracle at a time. Hope doesn't grow on trees, hope is the tree, and it's already being planted. 
by machines, yes, but also by people who refuse to give up. This is not the end, it's the beginning.